this story has despair all around. There's a father who's too old to be able to provide for his family. He has to send his daughters out into the workforce. That is despair. Those girls have to work in, in an environment where men don't respect them. That is despair. And Musa is homeless. That's despair. There's a depressing situation all around. Now these girls come back home and they tell him there was a really strong man, look kind of homeless, raggedy clothes. He came, he grabbed our sheep, fed them and brought them back. He said, did he ask you for money? Did he, did he, was he staring at you? Was he making small talk? Did he, did he try to like, you know, say salam a little too many times? Not anything? And they say, no, dad, you know, we know what men are like. We go out there every day. We know what he was like. He just, he just handed us the sheep and sat back down under a tree and looked like he was praying or something. He's just talking to Allah now. He doesn't need their attention anymore. So the father hears this and what does he do? Now I've left Musa alayhi salam's part of the story. He's back under the tree asking Allah, Ya Allah, send me something. One of them came walking over to him despite her shyness. And she says, Inna abi yad'uka, my dad is calling you, alright? My dad no doubt is calling you. So he can pay you. The point I wanted to make is Musa alayhi salam did not ask her for money, didn't ask her dad for money. Who did he ask for help? Allah. Allah sent him money and help through a human being. That help is not coming to you from that person, it's coming to you from Allah. That's why he says, not wajat ihdahuma. The fact that she came to him and called him to come because dad wants to pay you is because he made dua to Allah.